guys welcome back to my channel should go Tracy back again with another one <laughs> so these are the glasses that I chose y'all like from the last vlog that you saw psych no guys these are my glasses from high school <laughs> almost 10 years ago y'all like oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh no these are my glasses that I got the other day so yeah guys this is the frame that I picked. Keep looking at myself because you know I'm just trying to make sure that I'm looking fresh, looking sweet. I want you guys to see my eyes when I talk to you. By the title of the video, you can already tell that this is gonna be a tutorial. With everything going on, with everything going around in the world right now, I just feel like it's really important for people to be able to do things on their own. And it's just really hard to get basic services now, you know, like salons and grooming services, basically. So I'm like, you shouldn't have to suffer. That's why we have platforms like this for, okay, to teach us things for free. So today I'm about to teach y'all, to show y'all how I tweeze my own eyebrows for free. I haven't started doing this now, like because of lockdown. I've been tweezing my own brows, guys, I think. I've been tweezing my own brows, I wanna say, for maybe like five years now. That's crazy. But yeah, like I, I don't remember the last time I went to a salon and paid someone to tweeze my brows for me because ain't nobody got the time, okay? The lighting is gonna keep changing, you guys. Like the outside is being so funky. It's being so funky, like I don't know what's being there. Anyway, so these are the things you're gonna need, y'all. Like, I'm not, I don't have time, guys. It's lockdown and I have nothing else to do, but I don't have time to sit here and waste time that I don't have. I have everything in my hands because I don't have anywhere to put this stuff. There are different types of tweezers, but my recommendation is that you get these ones with the pointy top like this. It's just easier to grab at the hairs, which I will be showing you in a little bit. Um, and then, of course, the cotton wool and the mentholated spirit are for sanitary purposes. Is that too close? Am I too close? I'm a little bit close, but it's okay. Cause y'all need to see what I'm doing. So the one other thing that you're gonna need for this um, tutorial is a handheld mirror or any type of mirror that would be useful for you to be able to see what you're doing because you will botch your eyebrows. I've botched my eyebrows a lot of times, a lot of times. Even with the experience that I have, I'm still always watching my eyebrows sometimes, so you just have to kind of be really careful that you're doing the right thing. Okay, I'm like really in your space. I need to do this quick and get the hell out. All right, so as you can see, this is what my eyebrows are looking like now. The first thing that we're gonna do is grab some of that cotton wool and our mentholated spirit. You're gonna get your spoolie brush and just comb your brow hairs just to kind of like give them shape so you know what you're doing like I think you guys can already tell where I'm gonna be tweezing my brows especially under here so literally just getting rid of anything that's out of line with my actual brow shape so you're gonna do that for both sides but obviously we're not gonna be tweezing ah Obviously, we're not going to be tweezing like both sides at the same time. So you're going to just brush out your brows on both ends just to make sure that you've got a little shape on one. After we've done that, I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of that mentholated spirit onto the cotton wool. So I'm going to go ahead and pre-sanitize the area that I would want to tweeze. And I'm the only one that uses these, that's been using these tweezers, so I don't need to clean them. But if you know that you share your tweezers with someone else, you might want to wipe those down as well because sanitation, guys, sanitation. And sometimes you do bleed as you tweeze, so just to be safe because you don't know who got what. Anyway, I'm playing. Make sure you have your mirror handy so that you can see what you're doing. So I've got mine at the bottom. If you keep seeing me looking down, I'm trying to see what I'm doing, but then I'm also trying to show you guys what's going on. If you're not used to plucking your brows the way that I do, you might want to get a warm towel just to 
press onto your brow area so that it opens up the pores and that makes it easier for you to pull out the hair. I have seen people react to tweezing negatively because their skin is really sensitive. My skin is sensitive but I've gotten used to it over time um, but if you are extra sensitive um, make sure that you get that warm towel. Warm not like too hot just like a warm damp towel and then press it over your brows you know a few times and then you can go ahead. My hands are clean by the way so I'm not going to re-sanitize um, but yeah so that's a little tip there so I'm using the magnified side of my mirror and you're gonna need to constantly kind of use your spoolie just to make sure okay so I'm gonna comb my brows out make up that shape and then we begin so what you want to do is get one hair at a time right and then pluck them out as you go so I'm gonna start from about here and clean up all the little uh, stray brows right there. Basically, I'm just cleaning up all the hairs that are out of the shape that has been created. So I'm gonna take out everything from there all the way down here, right? So you wanna grab the little hairs and pluck in the direction that they grow. Also want to say quickly that you definitely don't want to rush through this um, make sure that you're going according to some type of like structure so that you don't end up over plucking because I have gotten really like tweezer happy and over pluck my brows and I like the thickish look so I just make sure that I go line by line as you can see I started from the very bottom and as I get to this side I'm also gonna start from like around here I won't just go straight into the brow so let's just keep going with that like I said, you try and pull the, the brow hair in the direction that it grows, um, but I do sometimes get like very stubborn hairs and then I end up plucking in the other direction, but for the most part, I do um, pluck in the direction that it's growing. As you can see, I'm really taking my time. I'm not rushing at all. scissors are to cut out any like kind of flyaways or any hairs at the top of my brow that are out of place okay so I'm just gonna go in and cut those out but then again also avoid kind of over cutting them because like I said I do like my brows looking full and if I over cut them even at the top, they're gonna look super thin. So brush it off again. And if there are any hairs at the top as well, I'll just go in and clean that up. Okay, so my right side is now done and my left side is not yet. And this is just how that is looking. As you can see, it literally just looks like this is the cleaned up version of that one because I didn't over pluck it. Um, the shape is still there, but you can just see now that like, I just need to pluck also 
all the hairs that have grown in. I'm gonna go ahead and now work on my left eye. So it's the same concept, you brush out the hair so you just make sure that you can see the shape properly and the shape also comes down to, the shape pretty much comes down to preference really, like not everybody wants super thick brows, not everybody wants like an arc or whatever, so you just do what works for you. I'm gonna grab more of that cotton wool and just brush that out. like you've reached your desired um, look then you just want to go in again with some more mentholated spirit and just ooh, and this stings y'all damn I'm experienced I've been doing this for some years but I still get irritation and some ridding a little bit there but it'll definitely go down um, over time. So yeah guys, that is how I tweeze my brows. Um, as you can see, it's pretty easy and my brows look really good if I do say so myself. I think I did a pretty good job. Um, so obviously it's something that you get to grasp over time. The more you keep doing it, the more confident you're gonna be as you pluck your brows out. Um, but I do prefer this way because I feel like my hair takes longer to grow back and I don't want to have to keep grooming and tweezing my brows every now and then. So at least with this, I can do it and then forget about it. If you have any questions as far as brow grooming is concerned, please make sure that you put that down in the comment section below. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget, don't forget to click on that red subscribe button below so that you can see more of me so that you can be a part of this here family. Otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.